this is Abraham Sultan from Jerusalem with one more tutorial on uh, animation and today we'll be learning how to trace cartoon backgrounds uh, there are plenty of cartoons out there and if you like the background there's a technique for importing the background vectorizing it so we can insert our own characters right here I have a still of Ellie. Ellie tells dirty jokes and is about to tell a joke and I like the background and I want to take Ellie away and use the background for myself and let's see how this is done first um, stop where you want um, and ask for shift and print screen let's go to Photoshop and shift and print screen for those who do not know it will store the screenshot on the clipboard memory so if when you ask for file new by default is going to create on Photoshop a document with the exact same size of the screenshot let's ask for OK and edit paste there we have our screenshot Needless to say, we don't want no advertisement, we don't want address bar. All we, we really want is the background. So using the crop tool, crop tool is this two arches over here. We are going to select only the area we want. Make sure to select the most of the area without going out the border. Once we're sure that we selected what we really want, uh, we ask for a check mark over here, and there we have Ellie. Now we'll be tracing this image, therefore it doesn't have to be much of a quality. So let's save it as a JPEG. Save as uh, here is a dialog box JPEG. Let's say add another cooler and we are almost done we have our cartoon screenshot what we see now is the original image the screenshot and uh, now is the image after tracing it um, done with CS4 that's our tutorial for this tutorial we will be using um, Flash, Flash CS4. You can always check the version of a helping about. Let's start by opening a brand new document and let's import um, the screenshot we just created on a new layer. There we have. And um, let's stretch it using the free transform tool. Um, make sure that you press the shift key while stretching to have no distortions and let's lock the layer so we don't select by mistake the layer is going to be locked all along the way let's give a name lock and let's start working on the wall the yellow wall we have select the color and um, using the rectangle tool make sure that you set um, to have a stroke number two so we have borders on our wall just the way the original image has let's stretch the rectangle covering most of the scene okay um, uh, make sure that you have the wireframe turned on so we can see what's behind the shape that we're using and also note the small edge corner that shows on the selection tool when approach the corners because then you have a, a square corner and if you don't have a square corner just we don't have right now you can always press control a uh, while stretching so it makes a square corner Mostly what we'll be doing now is um, 
with the selection tool approaching the border of the shape when the small curve shows we'll be aligning the shape of the wall with the shape of the wall that's on the picture um, In creating the floor, make sure that the the wall is on the top. The layer that uh, represents the wall is on the top of the floor, so um, it gives the right effect that we have a floor and we have a wall. Now again we are adjusting the edges, make sure that uh, not only the border of the uh, floor is aligned with the scene but also the border of the wall so they have, they are continuing one another, it looks straight. For that use the free transform tool and unlock, lock, unlock the layers as you go along the way make sure that they align with the border of the scene and the wall aligns with the border of the floor and you can always use the wireframe to see through the frames through the shapes now we're creating the corner with the line tool and if there is an edge hanging out there you can always select the edge with the selection tool the part is hanging out only the part is hanging out and press delete and it's gone so it looks smooth we'll be doing this right away there you go we select this the edge is hanging, only the edge is selected, we press delete and it's gone, now we have a smooth edge now it's possible to ask for requests, questions on my website say-web.com, thanks for watching my video, there's a second part for it